Welcome back to my channel, Edis English Literature. Today, uh, we are going to discuss uh, theatre of important part in modern uh, literary history, particularly uh, the dramatic section, which has its overhaul uh, revolution or rather evolution of presenting dramatic art. The way of thinking or way of presenting it in this new color has changed the entirety of theoretical aspects. So, uh, theater of absurd or uh, which Martin as Lynn has first in the theater of absurd has put it this particular page uh, where he was analyzing Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Goddard. Uh, there he says the act of waiting for Godot is shown as essentially absurd. What does he mean by absurd? What the absurdity is inherent in his purpose of saying and how uh, the theatrical presentation that Samuel Beckett has done in his particular drama which is an epic drama. Uh, that has exhibited in a way unique. Uh, why it is unique? What the absurdity uh, is and what the term it uh, actually defines. In fact, uh, the theatre of absurd is often applied uh, to, a, to the groups of UNESCO, Jean Janet and Arthur Adamov or like Samuel Beckett and few early plays of Edward Alvey, Pinter and many such dramatists uh, in 1950s. Now these kind of playwrights uh, flout all the standards by which drama has been judged till centuries. That's way back from the Greek period till now the judgment of a drama were uh, hardly made uh, by beyond uh, Aristotelian poetics. So the judgment of uh, drama as a uh, artistic format or a theatrical format has been given a perfect design beforehand. But they have hammered it, they have broken them into pieces and they have alighted a new thought. Structurally, uh, as you know, uh, and in contrast as well, uh, the play of these kind of absurd dramas uh, or the absurdist playwrights uh, where to begin and how to end has its new way of saying. <laughs> they have started uh, at an arbitrary point and they just end it arbitrarily. So there is uh, an argument that they have uh, make a point of their uh, presentation uh, of their presentation um, uh, which they think is suitable for them and the playwright of the absurd uh, views life in totally different color they find it existential and expresses the senseless of human condition by abandoning all the regulatory norms uh, that were in effect tilted. What, what they mean to say is that uh, life is meaningless and the time in which we were living is also timeless, is also meaningless and beyond comprehension because the very existence of our being is based on a philosophy. What's the utility of that philosophy when a single bomb can destroy the entire civilization? So their argument is quite clear. The so long philosophical empire, the so long philosophical pillars by which our civilization or the very uh, culture of us uh, were 
based on have been questioned for the first time by these absurdist writers and they say that the very philosophy and the very meaning of our life is useless it has no purpose and presenting that idea into their dramas become the very uh, root of absurdist playwrights most notably one thing is very important that since they do not believe in a rational and well meaning universe why should they believe what are happening in front of them destruction death there is no peace in mind in soul in physical existence so well meaning this universe and the rational thinking that we the civilized people were thinking of who the so called um, intellect intellectual sphere was thinking of has yielded no result so they do not see any meaning at the present condition and uh, is there any way or is there any um, a leading path that they could have find out in their thinking in absurd writing no they do not see any possibility of resolution to the problems that we presently face that's quite interesting their expressions is quite clear that what we are is like that of a wandering boat in the vastness of the ocean and our thought is like that of a floating one in the vastness of our conscience and we should express that feelings that moment which will drift anywhere or drift nowhere nobody comes nothing happens that nothingness becomes a thing we will be uh, surprised to know that that man is absurd and this world is itself absurd by no means new an awareness of the essential absurdity of human behavior has been inherent in the works of many writers in aristophanes look in look into our uh, great ancient literatures in aristophanes in plato in trace in sweep po balzac in dickens to cite only a few handful if i say have all shown an acute feelings for man's and they are comical so by tradition these absurdist playwright deals with purposeless of life or purposelessness of our existence and the human existence which we find out of this harmony here is no harmony here is a total pandemonium with its Surrounding. and that aspects has already been told or rather hinted in this great writings of these great writers and the the new absurdist writers or playwrights have uh, lead that path into new way the absurd drama as a jar is based on the tenets summarized by albert camus in his essay myth of sisyphus Uh, which were published in uh, 1942 the sisyphus the story of sisyphus very interesting uh, as in the story of sisyphus what is fine that there is a forever rolling a stone up a hill yeah a stone over the hill as he is just going to reach at top the stone rolls it falls and rolls down at the bottom and the man never ends its journey he starts any and it continues so continuity with the aim of never endingness 
continuity with no purpose has become the subject of absurd playwrights. It's uh, the metaphor for absurd writing or absurd playwrights is very simple. A meaningless way, a meaningless lead, a meaningless into nowhere. Because in front of us or in front of they, they couldn't find any destination. Absurd dramas uh, that began its course with the publication of Waiting for God. That particular drama is itself a metaphor of human condition or human situation. Uh, if you look into the play, you find out that protagonists are waiting someone called God. And he, in two act play, he, he never comes. But uh, somebody comes, but they could not find out who he was. So the drama ends in a riddle. So who the Godot is? Godot itself is a metaphor. It can be taken for anything, for nothing. Astragon and Vladimir, the two vagabonds, complain that nothing happens, nobody comes, nobody goes, it's awful. Even the time is quite stands still, but not fixed one because in the between the interval of two scenes there are few leaves in the desert. So that very absurdity of the waiting for God is become the title song for the absurd playwrights. Even if we take uh, the other example, Beckett's Endgame, uh, which was published in uh, 1957 odd, deals with uh, the same theme of loneliness and the essential absurdity of life in that of his Beckett style, uh, which is quite black humor, you can say, a kind of a grim humor. His happy days surprisingly has a heroine, Winnie, who is throughout the play largely buried in a mold of art. First up to her waist, then up to her neck. So these kind of absurd action or absurd theatrical presentation has the same saying. It says, this life or this world that we are living with is nothing suitable for us, has no meaning for us, and that is absurd. Edward Alvey, whose reference I have given at the earliest of the drama, is an American exponent of the absurd drama. Uh, he has a famous American play, uh, Who is Afraid of Virginia Woolf. The complexity of the values and condition of man is so expressed in a, in a just manner, in such a way where a few possible words are being delivered to give a mouthful of expression. And the same thing rather is expressed in the Jew. The same values of the complex, the complexity, the complexity value or the value of our uh, condition which is rather zero or which is for the, uh, rather uh, undefined is being expressed in the Jew. UNESCO's bold Pramadana and Fernando, the two executioner, are two revolutionary works. They tell single thing, who are you? You are a modern man and you are heading towards nowhere. Harold Pinton's the caretaker hints at the man's original scene. It, it takes a retrospective journey. Why are you in such a condition called absurd? He might have uh, uh, tried to answer that riddle. So the question comes, if these absurdist writers were um, thinking about nothingness or 
meaninglessness of our values are there meaning of meaninglessness or nowhere nothingness has harm meaning is it totally meaningless is it totally worthless of human existence if we think the playwrights were totally convinced of the meaninglessness of life then the question comes up why they have written this particular drama even why are they living again if we ask that same question why are you writing such in a way whose meaning you don't know why are you want to break the order of the drama by your own mechanical purposes so is it your orderlessness is the very order so the paradox is there so we can uh, sum up by saying that this kind of paradoxes do exist in their writings so this kind of paradoxical as their play are are the very act of writing these are the writing of despair on the maze of life and this might be the absurdist dramatist way of thinking or way of ordering the disorder or a kind of a making a law out of lawlessness discussion regarding absurd drama is limited for this particular uh, blog uh, for one class as this is going to be long enough to discuss in details but it might help you to read you further reading and a basic understanding of what absurd dramas are you can also lead your studies by following my vlog regularly by subscribing here and you can also see my vlog which is www.ordenudia.blogspot.com and you can also search uh, a few of my writings regarding this kind of topics